What's up bros, what up viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to new reviews. Um, before anything else, uh, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to be the first to know about the latest updates and my newest videos. Today is quite special because I'm not going to be doing my own review. Uh, I've invited my colleagues and co-youtubers to do the review for me. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. What is up viewers, welcome back. Uh, I'm just here waiting for my co-youtubers to arrive so we can start the review immediately. 12 seconds later. Hi, I'm Lindy. Hello. Say hello to the camera. Hi, I'm Sherry Hi, Joy. I'm Nada. Before we start our review or our video, please plug your YouTube channel to have more viewers and subscribers. Please subscribe my channel, Jam YT. And please subscribe my channel, Nadi TV. The artwork behind me was made by Carlos Botong V. Francisco. He finished it on March 31, 1969, months before his death. It's entitled Filipino Struggles Through History. The painting was commissioned by Mayor Antonio J. Villegas, so it can be displayed at the Manila City Hall. And the movement used was Cubism. So what is Cubism? Cubism is, you have a single point of view. It was popular in the mid-20th century. In this work, Francisco often integrated several historical episodes in smaller scale, under one period. The episode groups, however, are not static but flow into each other by means of various linking devices such as winding river, uh, flames branching out, and clouds. The murals are marked by artistic vigor and inexhaustible inventiveness, a lively characterization of the numerous historical figures and unifying a strong sense of design. Due to old age, this particular mural was destroyed and it was recently restored after four long years of restoration. The mural can be seen at the National Museum. Filipino Travel Through History is the great masterpiece of Carlos V. Francisco. The artwork shows that every Filipino have their own rights to live normally and also the painting shows that every Filipino does not easily give up on everything on life, even though it's hard to them. The content or the meaning inside the artwork are very nice. That's why the painting is great because of the meaning behind the artwork of Carlos B. Francisco. The idea of the artist is good because the artwork shows that the Filipino does not give up easily, even though it's hard and difficult even if they have to sacrifice their own life to claim the Philippines back from the colonizer, the artwork is highly expressive because of the meaning of it and the artist show the Filipino is not easily giving up on life even though it's hard to them to fight their rights. The expression of on the faces of the Filipino soldiers depict courage and bravery of Filipinos. It also show the polychromatic properties. It has a lot of colors combined that give life to paintings. It also shows maximalism because in his painting, he utilized all the space to make his painting wholesome. All in all, this painting is not just amazing because of the because of its appearance but its meaning in what is expresses about the past or our ancestor who sacrificed their own lives for our country the beloved philippines now let's take the negative things about this painting it's quite difficult because everything in this painting are so amazing but there is one thing i did not like it because some of the color are dull and did not match each some of the object I saw are not clear, or I don't understand what signifies, especially the cloud-like object. What's up, viewers? As you can see, I'm back in my room. It's a bit messy because uh, I don't know how to clean it. <laughs> um, uh, our review was interrupted earlier because my two co-youtubers, Jam and Dada, had to go to a fan meeting, so... 
we have to continue it tomorrow for the ratings and the recommendations. Bye! What's up viewers? Welcome back to Anthony Reviews. So, it's another day and we're gonna continue for the ratings and the recommendation. Let's go! I'll give it 10 because he used to use them and it's worked out really well. Although it's an old style, it gives simplicity and beauty. I give that for a technique because I feel like he could have a clearer linking devices among historical events than clouds and planes. Let's move on to the overall impact. I'll give it 10 because we all know that this artwork of Lotto serves as an important piece and contemporary art in the film. I'll also give it 10 because to sum it all up, the appearance of the painting is almost perfect. The way Francisco used colors that match, he conveyed the historical events perfectly so that the audience could understand what is happening in the painting. This particular piece is arguably the greatest artwork of Carlos V. Francisco. It is not only amazing because of its appearance, but the meaning it gives and the vibe it gives to the people who will view the painting. It gives inspiration and the, the, mean, the making process of this particular painting is deep and this painting plays an important role in the, in the contemporary aspect of the Philippines. For all you art lovers out there or even if you're just curious about this piece entitled Filipino Struggles Through History by Carlos V. Francisco, I suggest you, you search or for, to further understand the meaning of it. And, if you want more contemporary artworks from the Philippines, I suggest you also search the web because Filipino artworks are an, are an eye candy and an heart candy. It's not only great because of its appearance, but it's also very amazing because all the artworks have meanings and significance. I'll put some links in the description below if you want to find out more about Philippine contemporary artworks or the artworks of Carlos V. Francisco. That is all for today, viewers. Uh, stay alert for my future reviews. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.